So we've done the skull. The vertebral column was the second part of our uh, axial skeleton, and then the last portion is our thoracic cage. Right? So skull, vertebral column, and thoracic cage. As we move into our vertebral column, right? the vertebral column are your vertebrae, or your spine, right? the pieces that make up your spine. Uh, these are what are going to uh, add some stability to our axis, uh, as well as provide a um, support or uh, protection for your spinal cord. Your spinal cord runs through your vertebral column, uh, and so it provides uh, protection for that uh, very delicate piece. Uh, your vertebral column is made up of individual vertebrae, and you can see that we break it up into different regions. And so we have our cervical region, our thoracic region, and our lumbar region. And as I write this, I'm just realizing that our picture over here shows it as well. But our cervical region, there are going to be seven vertebra. Right? So seven vertebra. And so uh, one of the things you can do is you can see the little points on the back side. This is uh, the posterior side here. Right? This is going to be anterior in our middle picture here. Uh, so if you look at the posterior side, they have these pieces that come off called spinous process. Right, the spinous process, and so uh, these make it really easy to help count uh, as we're going down through. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The first seven vertebra are called your cervical vertebra, and so what we do is we name them C1, C2, C3, all the way down to C7. Uh, if you want to find a bony landmark, right, tilt your head forward and rub your fingers down your neck. That first bump that you feel at the base of your neck is the spinous process of C7. It's this bump right here. And you can see how much bigger that spinous process is than the rest of them. Right? And the curve actually here starts to come out. So this is our spinous process of C7. That's a good bony landmark for you to sort of help orient as to where you are. Right? Our thoracic vertebra, uh, there are going to be 12 of these. Um, all of our ribs are attached to our thoracic vertebra. We have 12 pairs of ribs when we look at our thoracic cage. So our thoracic vertebra are going to be the ones that have our ribs, and there are going to be 12 of these, right? 12 vertebra. Again, we name it T1, T2, T3, all the way down. Right? From there, we go to our lumbar vertebra. There are going to be five lumbar vertebra, L1, 2, 3, 4, and L5. Then you have your sacrum and your coccyx. The sacrum is what attaches to your, or your hip bones, your os coxa, uh, attach to your sacrum to create your pelvis, right? Uh, and then you have your coccyx which, coccyx, which is most likely considered your tailbone. Most of you know it as your tailbone. The sacrum, you can see here, is labeled S1 through S5. So it's actually five vertebra that are fused together to form this one piece. Your coccyx is actually four. Right? There were four pieces or four vertebrae that fused together to form this one piece. Right? So your sacrum and your coccyx. The sacrum was five, and then the coccyx was four pieces that fused together. Um, so one trick that may help you remember uh, the major pieces of your uh, vertebral column, so your cervical, your thoracic, and your lumbar, is to think about the numbers of each one. How do you remember how many are in each section? So as you go through and you're counting, you know when to change regions. Um, you can think of when you have uh, your meal. So we have breakfast at 7, lunch at noon, and then we have maybe an early dinner at 5 o'clock. Right? I know we're uh, you're talking to college students mainly, so you know breakfast at 11, lunch at you know 3.30, and then dinner at 11.45 at night. Uh, so that doesn't work, but you think of normal people when they might actually have um, have their meals, right? Breakfast at 7, lunch right at noon, and then dinner uh, right around 5 o'clock. Right? might help you remember how many vertebrae are in each region. Uh, so what we'll do next is we'll go through and we'll talk about uh, what all vertebrae have in common, and then we'll try and figure out what, um, what the differences are between each one of the regions.